But first, a new twist in a death investigation leading to an Amber Alert. Within the last hour, police say they are investigating a third scene. This is 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Frank Wiley. And I'm Carolina Lead. In tonight for Courtney Robinson. Chilling details where a man is now accused of attacking his parents and his killing his ex. This man, Renato Muhaj, has been arrested. Police say they are also investigating a death just a few miles from where Alessia was found. We now bring in 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo. Angie, the child is safe tonight, but new details point to what happened before that man was accused of taking that little girl. Frank and Carolina, the good news tonight is that that eight year old is doing OK, but the Largo police chief did speak moments ago and confirmed that her mother, Suela Saliage, was found dead in her apartment complex. That death investigation taking place right here at the Bayside Court Apartments right now. This is where the alleged murder happened overnight in the last place. The eight year old Alessia Muhaj was seen. Now, the Amber Alert for Alessia came out early this morning after Clearwater police alerted Largo PD about a domestic battery case involving her dad. That's when officials became concerned for both Alessia and Suela's well-being. Alessia and her father, Renato Muhaj, were located by police just six minutes away from the apartments in a neighborhood. Sky 10 flew over the scene moments after they were found. A Clearwater sergeant located them after a cell phone ping. You can see police cars and tape blocking off the area and a gold Kia Sportage as well. When the alert was first issued, police said Alessia could be in that car traveling with Renato. That is where police arrested him and recovered Alessia. Other officers responded to the area. Uh, they closed in on the vehicle and they located uh, Renato Mohaj and Alessia in the vehicle. Uh, they were both placed into custody. Alessia was unharmed. Mohaj was, uh, Renato was also unharmed. Um, but she's been recovered successfully. And Mr. Mohaj has been uh, charged with murder in the first degree, kidnapping, and child abuse. In addition to those charges, we know Clearwater Police Department also charged Renato with seven criminal counts in connection to the domestic battery case that happened at the Oak Brook Village Apartments close to three this morning. Those additional charges include two counts of aggravated assault, two counts of tampering with a witness, along with two counts of felony battery, false imprisonment, and domestic battery. Now, we do know that that domestic battery case did not have anything to do with Suella. This investigation here, of course, still ongoing. We're still working to learn some more information here. All right, now, Ange, what more did you learn about the domestic battery case? So that domestic battery case involved um, Renato's two parents. Police say that it happened early at around 3 a.m. He allegedly beat his parents and also took away their cell phones so they weren't able to contact 911 for help. They were both treated at Morton Plant Hospital. When it comes to Alessia, she's again doing okay and she's also with family tonight. We're live in Largo, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.